Hello children. <coughs> Yesterday we have discussed regarding acids, definition, and uh, we have discussed uh, types of acids, right? And we have also discussed indicators and types of indicators. So today let us discuss the preparation of acid. How can we prepare acids? See normally <coughs> acids are prepared. So here today we have discussed preparation of acids so today we are going to discuss regarding preparation of acids how can we prepare acids see acids mostly almost all non-metallic acids most of the non-metallic acids not all most of the non-metallic acids acts like acids so when you burn carbon in presence of oxygen then this produces carbon dioxide see carbon dioxide basically it acts like a Acid. Similarly, when you burn sulfur, <coughs> it produces sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide also acts like acid. Similarly, when you when you make this nitrogen to react with oxygen, then it will react, it will form N2O5. So that also, see all these, see here, carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, all these are non-metals, and non-metals with oxygen will call as non metallic oxides so non metallic oxides see most of the non metallic oxides acts like acids most of the non metallic oxides acts like acids so this is one of the preparation methods of acids so non metallic oxides acts like acids so we have prepared non metallic oxides which acts like acids so these are also acids next second one on dissolving non metallic oxides non metallic oxides in water non metallic oxides in water so they form they form their respect they respect to Acid, they form the respect to acid. So, for example, let us take one example. So, if I have taken carbon dioxide and if I dissolve this carbon dioxide in water, if I have taken carbon dioxide and if I dissolve this carbon dioxide in water, this will form H2CO3. So, this is called carbonic acid. This is called carbonic acid. So, carbonic acid is an acid, and when you dissolve this sulfur dioxide in water. This will form H2SO3 that is sulfurous acid. Right? Next, if you dissolve this sulfur trioxide in water, if you dissolve sulfur trioxide in water, it will form H2SO4 sulfur, that is sulfuric acid. So this is sulfuric acid and this is sulfurous acid. Next, similarly, if you dissolve this nitrogen pentoxide in water. So this will form H and O3. This is nitric acid. Nitric acid. So these are the second method of preparation of acid. So first method on making reaction non-metals with oxygen, they form the respective non-metallic oxides. And second one, on dissolving non-metallic oxides in water. On dissolving non-metallic oxides in water, they form their respective acids right <clears throat> next third method so this in this method uh, acids reacts with acids reacts with salts of more volatile more volatile acids and releases more volatile acid and salt of less volatile acid. So here the reaction between salts of more volatile acid salts are more volatile acid and an acid 
So if you, here you have to take an acid, here you have to take an acid and you have to take a salt which is made up of more volatile acid and when you make them to react with each other then obviously you will get more volatile acid. You know about what is volatile? Volatile is nothing but the acid or the substance which have tendency to evaporate at room temperature. The substance which have tendency to evaporate at room temperature call as volatile substance. So here we will get an acid which will evaporate at room temperature means that the acid whenever it is forming it will evaporate automatically. So that kind of acid is called as water acid. So for this, so I am writing this, if you not note it down, just pass it and note down. <coughs> so here, the best example that we do is our common salt NaCl. So into which if we add H2SO4 sulfuric acid. So this is salt, this is less volatile acid and this is salt of more volatile acid because it is produced from HCl. HCl is more volatile acid, HCl is more volatile acid. So it is produced from HCl. So this is salt of more volatile acid and this is uh, less volatile acid. So on reacting on reaction between these two, so this sodium will come and replace this hydrogen and forms Na2SO4 and this chlorine and hydrogen will combine to form HCl. So HCl is volatile acid, HCl is volatile acid so that will evaporate. So for this we have an experiment. So into a test tube into a test tube take some salt into the test tube take some salt right what is all this into this we have to take NaCl and after taking NaCl into this add add few so into this we have to take H2SO4. Into this we have to take H2SO4 and this, sorry not like this, whenever you are adding acid you should follow this, the mouths of these two must touch each other. So into which you should take some acid. So here you should add the acid slowly from the side of walls, from the side of walls like this. Actually, you should keep this in standing. Both you have to flip in the standing mode and you should add them. See if you add this, then automatically whenever this comes and touches this, then automatically you will get some vapors. Automatically you will get some vapors coming out. That vapors are nothing but that vapors are nothing but HCl vapor. That vapors are nothing but HCl. So how can you confirm that the given, uh, produced substance is an acid? We know that litmus paper test, right? So if you take blue litmus, if you take blue litmus, if you take blue litmus and keep here, then automatically it turns to red color. It turns to red color. So if a blue litmus paper turns to red color, so this is the property of acid. This is the property of acid. So here we have to take blue litmus and that blue litmus paper also it should be in wet condition. It should be in wet condition. If you take the dry litmus, dry blue litmus paper, then the color of that will not change. Then the color of the litmus paper will not change. It will change its color only to blue wet litmus. Why it will change its color only to wet litmus and why not to the dry litmus? Because see here it is producing HCl. So HCl is in the molecular form. HCl means each HCl molecule will come out. It is it will come out in the form of molecule. So here blue litmus is turned to red color by hydrogen ion. But here there is no hydrogen ion. It is in the form of HCl means which is neutral in form. So if it needs to convert into hydrogen, if it needs to release hydrogen ion, then we have to dissolve this HCl in water. So these vapors we cannot dissolve. That's why we have to take wet litmus paper. When we take wet litmus paper, so wet means it should have it will be having water. So when this HCl comes and touches to this automatically this will forms this will turns into h3o plus ion 
So this H3O plus ion will toss blue litmus paper into red litmus paper. So whenever you are taking, you are keeping here, you have to place. So here you have to place wet blue litmus. Wet blue litmus. We should not take red, uh, sorry, dry blue litmus. Clear? Right. So these are the three main methods of preparation of acids. Okay. So today we have discussed regarding uh, the preparation of acids by three main important methods. Right. Okay. So today we have discussed regarding the preparation of three main uh, the preparation of acids by three main methods. One is uh, reaction of acids, uh, non-metallic oxides with water produces non-metallic oxides. Second one, on dissolving non-metallic oxides in water. Then third one, salts of more volatile acid reaction with salts of less volatile acid. Right? So in the next class, let us discuss regarding the properties of acids. So in the properties, let us discuss physical and chemical properties. Thank you. Yes, hi children. So in the previous class we have discussed the preparation methods of acids, right? So today let us discuss the properties of acids. So what are the properties of acids? So in the property there are two types of properties. One is physical property, another one is chemical property. So let us discuss both physical as well as chemical properties. So, so today let us discuss the Properties of acids. Properties of acids. So the properties of acids. So first one. So acids. The we have to taste. By taste we can identify them. So taste. So taste of acid is so to taste. Acids are so to taste. So whenever you taste acid. So whenever you taste acid, they are sore in taste. That's why acids are so to taste. Like whenever you taste lemon, how will you feel? Same kind of feeling you will get whenever you taste an acid. Next, touch. They are normal to touch. They are normal. So normal. So whenever you touch an uh, salt or a water, same kind of feeling you will get. Next, acids are corrosive in nature. Acids are corrosive. In nature, then corrosive in nature, and the next one acids turns acid turns blue litmus to red color. So they turn blue litmus paper into red color. Similarly, acids. On adding phenolphthalein solution, phenolphthalein solution, they are colorless. They are colorless. Means they won't change any color. There will be no change in its color. Next, acids on reaction with methyl. Orange turns to red color. So for this we have an experiment. So in the childhood days we might have done this. So they will apply this methyl orange to the knife. They will apply methyl orange to the knife. And whenever they cut that methyl orange knife, methyl orange coated knife, uh, that they will cut the lemon, then automatically we can get red color and they'll say that it is blood. So lemon is having citric acid. Lemon is having citric acid and this methyl orange on reacting with that citric acid immediately it turns into red color like blood. Right? Next. <clears throat> so these are the some properties. Next, let us look into the chemical properties. Let us look into the chemical properties. See acids are having 
hydrogen here. Acids are having hydrogen yes, right? Hydrogen. Acids are combined with hydrogen like H2, SO4 or HCl. See, their main constant is hydrogen. See, hydrogen is less react to the metals. Hydrogen is less react to the metal. So, if you take an individual metal, if you take an individual that may be uh, more reactive or moderate reactive metal. So, these more and moderate reactive metals, whenever they are added to acids, whenever they are added to acids, then automatically they will replace that hydrogen from the acids. Whenever this uh, replaced hydrogen will come out in the form of gas. So, acids on reaction with metals, acids on reaction with metals will form metallic salts, metallic salts and releases hydrogen gas. Right? So, for this example, if you take H2SO4 and to which if you add sodium metal, then automatically this sodium metal turns into, so this sodium metal replaces hydrogen gas and forms sodium sulfate as a salt and releases hydrogen gas. Similarly, you can take HCl into which you add zinc metal and you get ZN, Cl2 and hydrogen gas is release, hydrogen gas is released. So to test this, uh, we will be having, an experiment. to test this we will be having an experiment. So normally what we have to take, take a conical plus into which take a conical plus into which take dilute acid or acid. Right? Into which add zinc granules. Into which add zinc granules. So zinc and HCl. You can take it as acid. So when you add the zinc granules into acid, when you add the zinc granules into acid, automatically fumes will come out. So you can observe some fumes are coming out of this conical plus. Some fumes are coming out of this conical plus. So, these fumes are reacted towards oxygen and they will burn with pop sound. They will burn with pop sound. So, here to this, so to identify, see, this hydrogen is having special character that is burn. Whenever it is uh, comes near to the flame, it burns with pop sound. So, you know, like carbon dioxide, whenever it comes near to the flame, then automatically it stops fire, right? Whenever uh, oxygen comes near to the fire, then it increases the fire. Right? Similarly, whenever this is, comes near to the fire, it burns with pop sound. So here to confirm this, we have to place a burning mastic. A burning mastic. We have to take this burning mastic near to this. Whenever we keep the, keep the burning mastic near, so here you can observe pop sound. You can observe pop sound. So pop sound is nothing but it is a characteristic feature of hydrogen gas. Clear? So this is very very important. So here what is the reaction? So this is the reaction after here. Clear? So this is one of the uh, chemical properties of acid. So acids on reaction with metals forms the respective metallic salts and releases hydrogen gas. Acids on reaction with metals forms their respective salts and releases hydrogen gas and these are the two examples you can note down right so next property <coughs> same so acids so they are acids having hydrogen gas and that hydrogen is less reactive than moderate reactive as well as most reactive metals right so by this Whenever this acid reacts with metallic carbonates, metallic carbonates, whenever they react with metallic carbonates, see this is a metal, so it is more reactive than this. So, what will happen? This will come and replaces this. So, finally, it will form NaCl and 
H2O and releases carbon dioxide gas. So here acids on reaction with metallic carbonates and it will give same kind of reaction with metallic hydrogen carbonates. This we can also call as metallic bicarbonates, metallic bicarbonates or metallic hydrogen carbonates. So here this reaction. So second one, what is the second property? Acids on reaction with metallic carbonates or metallic hydrogen carbonates. They form their respective salts and releases water and carbon dioxide gas. Yes. Clear? Why we have to say here that their respective salt? Because if it reacts with sulfuric acid, sulfuric acid so it will form sodium sulfate water and carbon dioxide gas. So here, sodium sulfate, same sodium carbonate and sodium bicarbonate, both are reacting. But here, it is when it is reacting with chlorine, uh, sorry, chlor uh, hydrochloric acid forming sodium chloride, when it is reacting with sulfuric acid forming sodium sulfate. So, you have to say, acids on reaction with metallic carbonates or metallic hydrogen carbonates, hydrogen carbonates also called as metallic bicarbonates. So, they form the respective salts, water and releases carbon dioxide. So, as it is a gas, we have to represent with upward arrow. As it is a gas, we have to represent with upward arrow. Clear? Next. Acids and reaction with metallic oxides acids on reaction with metallic oxide they form the respect to salt and water salt and water so metallic oxide means you can take hcl plus na2o it will form nacl and water clear acids on reaction with metallic oxide they form salt and water salt and water see we know this in any chemical reaction we know this in any chemical reaction salt and water sorry two products are formed in any chemical reaction two products are formed out of two products if one product is water then automatically other product we have to call as salt and this total reaction we have to call as neutralization reaction this total reaction we have to call as neutralization reaction so acids neutralizes metallic oxides acids neutralizes metallic oxides because metallic oxides acts like bases metallic oxides acts like bases clear so this is about uh, one reaction next same acids reacts with
hydroxides metallic hydroxides they form the respective salt and water they form the respective salt and water so here best example hcl reacts with sodium hydroxide forms sodium chloride and releases water right similarly h2so4 calcium hydroxide forms calcium sulfate and water so these are some examples of this so acids reacts with bases to form salt and water similarly acids on reaction with metallic oxides form salt and water both are neutralization reaction both are neutralization reactions clear next the last one acids are very good conductors of electricity the last one acids are very good conductors of electricity so they conduct electricity very much right so they are good conductor why the uh, pure acids will not but when they are in aqueous solution so here you have to write aqueous solution so aqueous solutions of acids conduct are very good conductors of electricity because whenever they are dissolved in water whenever they are dissolved in water so they turns into two ions opposite ions so h h plus they releases h plus ions as there are ions they automatically ions will acts like conductors of electricity so you have to take acid into this a vessel you have to take acid into this and into which you have to dip electrodes you have to dip electrodes and this electrodes must be connected to battery this electrodes must be connected to a battery and one of the electrode one of the electrode is connected to bulb one of the electrode is connected to bulb right so here you have to give connection like this if you give connection like this so whenever you switch on this whenever you switch on this automatically this bulb will glow bulb will glow bulb will glow see if you take strong acid if you take strong acid strong acid means which undergo 100% ionization or complete ionization strong acid means the acid that can undergo complete yesterday we have uh, in the previous class we have learned regarding the acid types of in the types of acid strong acid and weak acid so what is a strong acid the acid that can undergo complete ionization or 100 100% ionization we call as strong acids if you take strong acid then bulb will glow brightly very with a brightly so bulb will glow brightly if you take weak acid if you take weak acid if you take weak acid then the bulb will glow but bulb will go dim not brightly so here whenever you take strong acid it will glow very with a brightness and whenever you take weak acid that will go with dimness clear so most of the strong acids means you can take all non metallic non metallic acids are which are man made acids all non metal uh, all man made acids are strong acids clear so these are the uh, properties of acids these are the properties of acids so in the properties of acids we have discussed mainly six properties what are the six properties first one acids reacts with bases to form salts and water and the second one acids on reaction with metallic oxides forms salt and water and third one acids reacts with metals releases 
hydrogen gas metals acids reacts with metals and releases hydrogen gas and the next one acids on reaction with metallic carbonates or metallic hydrogen carbonates they form the respective salts water and releases carbon dioxide gas yes. and the fifth one acids and reaction with salts of less volatile acid forms salts of more volatile acid and uh, salts of less volatile acid and the sixth one acids are very good conductors of electricity right so this is about the properties of acids children so in the next class let us learn about uh, some uses of some acids right thank you have a nice day